Hey, what up, what up? Just want to give my quick prediction on tonight's fight. Um, I just finished seeing the Charlo fight. Um, good fight. I mean, good fight. Um, good performance by Jamal Charlo coming off of two and a half year layoff. To be honest, I didn't know how, how he would perform. I didn't think, to be honest, I think he did better than initially what people thought just in general. Um, in terms of boxing fans, so I think he did a pretty good job. He hurt uh, uh, Benavides or Jose Benavides a couple times. Um, I think had he been more active over the last couple of years, he probably would have stopped them. In the last round, he got pretty climactic. He could have he could have stopped them. So even in this fight, so uh, for a two and a half later layoff, it's pretty good performance. Jab is still, still, still really good jab. Um, I, I give him, I get hats off to him after a two day now layoff. Um, do I think he's ready for Canelo or some of the more top fighters? I don't know because I don't know. I think he's battling a lot. You could tell by the um post fight um interview. He's still dealing with a lot. That's why I think he came overweight. To be honest, I just think he's just. Still dealing with a lot, but still trying to rejuvenate himself and his life by boxing. I think that's just what's going on. But I hope he, I hope he gets better because I don't. It's it's it, you can see it in his eyes and his in his spirit that he's dealing with a lot. So I don't know. I hope he gets better. I pray he gets better. But for someone who's not doing so well mentally, he did a very good job. Um, in terms of his um performance, um. Now with this fight coming up. With um, David Benavides versus um, uh, Demetrius Andrade. Just to keep it short and sim simple, I think Demetrius Andrade is going to win. I got him by a unanimous decision. I won't be surprised if uh, Demetrius Andrade could you know, um, hurt him and during the fight or even get a knockdown. Demetrius Andrade, his power is uh, i think is underrated because he a lot of times he doesn't fully commit to stopping somebody but he will hurt somebody really early but i think the main uh thing that's going to separate him from uh david benavides i think will be a tough contested fight back and forth especially in the second half of the fight but i think the footwork is going to be a difference um I had Plant winning, beating Demetrius, I mean, David Benavidez in March. But um, what came, what was the difference is that um, he didn't pace himself or his stamina wasn't, or his tank wasn't up to par. And his inside game wasn't up to par. And that's what really, to me, got David Benavidez the win and the nod, especially in the second half of the fight. Um... I do think David Benavidez is a stronger, stronger than Plant. I think he's, uh, I think he's bigger and stronger, and I think he's, he might be more a little more scrappy on the inside. I think he'll do a better job than Caleb Plant on the inside. Um, but um, and I think his footwork against Benavidez, David Benavidez will do give. Um, David Benavides, the same problems he had against Caleb, against Caleb Plant. Um, I did see a moment in his last fight versus Caleb Plant that he did look like he wanted to give up mentally within the first six rounds because he was just, Caleb Plant was just washing him the first six rounds. So it did look like he wanted to give up at one point in the first six rounds. And two, Caleb Plant's, um, gas tank went out. And he didn't have that same movement that he had in the first six rounds. Um, and so that's when he had some light. Um, I, um, I, I don't know, but I do, I do think that Demetri Andre would pace himself a little better. And I do think he has these, the strength to, to withstand and the dog to withstand. We'll see. We'll see if he had, if he has that. But I'm go I always I always go with the better boxer, the, the guy who has a better footwork. Um David Benavidez, if you don't sit there right in front of him, he can't really do anything. You know what I'm saying? He can't really do anything. 
And if you have a good enough boxing ability, like somebody like a Demetrius Andre, you can offset him. And I think, I believe so, that he will be able to do that in this fight. I think it will be highly contested. But I'm going to go with Demetrius Andre. And I'm going to be honest, I'm, so, I'm surprised that a lot of people, especially when it comes to um, boxing pundits, um, even for um, ex Former former boxers are just going with Demi, um David Benavides. I, it feels like a lot of people are not giving Demetrius Andre a shot in this fight, but um, I'm going with Demetrius Andre um, by unanimous decision. Better boxer, better footwork, um, sneaky power, strong. Um, I think he's gonna surprise a lot of people this fight. I think he's gonna surprise a lot of people this fight. Um, I think he'll be I think he'll be all right this fight. Um, especially if he has a gas tank to go um, with the um, the later round, the later the later part of the fight. Uh, I'm going with Demetrius Andre. Um, unanimous decision. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.